Hi friends, you own a WordPress website. Managing security is always a challenging task for you. And especially when your website is offering user login and user registration system. In this video, I am going to tell you a very important security patch that should be used for every WordPress website, be it a few pages website or a e-commerce website. So it is very important. Don't miss to watch this video. And if you are coming to this channel at very first time, don't forget to subscribe this channel and ring the bell button and so that you may get similar updates for your WordPress website. Now, what is the importance of maintaining the WordPress security? It not a matter of discussion. You always know you have to maintain your site very well. Okay, so you might be using shared hosting and uh, there are certain limitations in the CPU in terms of CPU and memory and share hosting so this video is also going to help you in that regard if you are getting security alerts like mm, the resources use alerts from your hosting provider that your uh, website is consuming more and more server space and mm, even not uh, about a space it is actually about cpu uses and the ram that is memory so this video is also going to be helpful in that regard. So this is a sample website that we created during one of the recording of a theme overview. This is a website. So this website, uh, let us say this website offers user registration for making appointments and all such things. So you might be having uh, e-commerce website using WooCommerce that also offers uh, user registration in terms of customers and also so there might be users that like uh, fair users are fine but there might be certain users that are coming from the robots and your site website is full with users and there are certain users maybe robots that is continuously logged in at your website so that is going to increase the use of cpu and ultimately it is also a challenge for security of your website so in this video i am going to tell you how you can log out all users in a single attempt without adding or without adding a plugin or without uh, taking too much stress for that so simply uh, we are going to also maintain the cookies of website so all users are going uh, act, users activities are going to be maintained through the cookies only so we are going to even expire the cookies that has been logged on the users specific users machines so this is uh, the objective of this video so watch this video until end it is not a long video and but it is very important for you and you should do this activity at least once in a month so if you are having a e-commerce website it is very very important for you okay so now how what we have to do and how we can do this so we are going to uh, watch the back end of this so uh, i have already shown a thing um, so how to access your uh, WordPress files using the file manager but better you should have the access of your servers I am using the cPanel or FTP for this doing this activity and you might be familiar uh, with this screen this is the screen for a cPanel that is uh, the hosting panel or uh, for you it might be different panel but uh, all the files will remain same for you as well if it is a WordPress website so we have our wp-config.php file in every WordPress website and we are going to edit this file. So what we have to do on this file so that all logged in users 
will go logged out automatically without any additional effort and all cookies will expire automatically so that all robots will uh, fail and all users that are even robots or even genuine users will be logged out automatically so watch this video carefully and do the steps as i am doing so we are already logged in in this website so you can see here uh, i i have logged in so um, this is the dashboard and this is the site and i'm going to edit wp config file but before editing this file i'll open a sort generator so we are basically going to change the sort i'll show you where it is so what you have to do you may download this file first of all by right clicking or, or any um, method and so in the cpanel it can be done through the right click and you have to download this wpconfig.php file for just for backup purpose uh, rest of things will be fine so you have to take a backup of this file before you edit this file so it is as uh, it can be a wrong uh, run for you so you have to maintain your backup for this so i am directly going to edit so uh, click on edit so you will get an alert and you'll you have to edit this one so i will request don't use these credentials because this is a demo website and if you are trying to uh, use these credentials it is not going to work so just follow the method i am showing so you can see uh, here are the defined auth key to the defined known salt these are the eight lines that is available in the wp-config.php file so it is available for all the wordpress website it is common for all websites so it is nothing unique for any particular website oh sorry so it is unique for all the website but it is common for all uh, eight line is common for all website yeah, definitely key will be different for all websites so it is not common for anyone okay so we are going to change this auth key and it can be done simply by opening a link directly given by the wordpress itself the wordpress api key salt so you have to copy this url that has been given in the wp config file itself and you have to copy this url and open this url in a new tab and simply hit the hit enter and you will get a new auth key i'm a new salt you can say so authorization salt you can say and every time you refresh this you'll get a new salt so you can generate as many as salt as you want so as i told you you have to do this activity monthly so you can generate a salt by following this link every time so you have simply copy you have to simply copy this auth key and simply copy this and what you have to do you have to change this key so start from this uh, so this is defined and up to here and you have to simply delete and again paste the new auth key and simply click on save changes so you can even download this wp config file to your local machine and using any file editor like notepad you can you know, do this uh, and re-upload this so it is up to you how you manage this wp config file but ultimate goal is to change this auth key so now you have done uh, you have nothing to do next so all the users has logged out all the cookies has been expired and your security of website and the cpu uses may reduce um, if it is being used by the users the already continuous login may harm your uh, system or even your website performance okay so i will show you the proof uh, it is logged out so we uh, we on the, in the another tab it was logged in but yes you can see it is logged out so it means it worked and your website will continue working so it is logged out and i will refresh this page you will see it is logged out and your website is working fine so no impact on the website every page will work fine and it is now even even it may be faster because 
there might be some unauthenticated users that has logged in and even unauthenticated cookies that is uh, saved on the user system and they are making some connections with your website so all is expired now and all the users have to log in again so if they are if they are the authentic user and the unique users or the verified users they will definitely know their password and they will log in again so this is a very common method to uh, increase the security of wordpress website and don't ignore to do this for your website because it is not going to harm your website and finally it is going to uh, enhance the security of your website and enhance the performance of your website so i believe you like this video and it is this is this information is being important for you and uh, again i am requesting don't forget to subscribe this channel because i am going to bring all such great and important security updates along with the wordpress resources for you so keep watching keep building thank you